In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a shared folder for student handouts. We're going to share the folder with the Google group that we created previously to quickly share handouts that we want to give our students. I've already gone ahead and created a folder for this purpose and pay attention to the name that you're giving this folder. You want to have kind of uh, some kind of organization to these folders. Um, your students need organization, you need to be organized. So notice how I've named this. I've given it, I've named it the year, the period, my name, and handouts. This will make it easy for me at the end of the year, I can simply delete all of these folders. Um, so it kind of helps me stay organized. So you want to have some kind of similar naming convention when you go to name your folders. To share this folder out, I'm going to hover over the folder. I'm going to click the down arrow. I'm going to go to share and share. Now the advantage of sharing a folder for handouts is that it eliminates the need to share individual files. Any file that you place in this folder is automatically shared with your class. We're going to go down here to the bottom where it says add people and we're going to enter the mailing address for the Google group that we created previously. Now this is a folder for handouts. We don't want our students to edit these files, we just need them to view them. So we're going to change the access level to can view. Now it's important to note when you are sharing a folder or a file with a mailing address, and that's what this is, a mailing address or a group address, the people who in the group must receive the email message and they have to click on the link in order to be able to access the file in their drive. So in this case, I want to be sure that notify people via email is checked and I'm going to add my own message. So in my message, I've explained what this folder is for, and I've also given them some instructions. They have to click on the link to add the folder in their drive. I'm going to go ahead and share and save, and click Done. Any file that I place in this handouts folder will automatically take on the same share settings, so all files in this folder will be view only. Using a shared handout folder makes it easy to share files with your students.